that I can be beauty, naturally. Or that this rat's nest that sprouts from my head can be seen as something queenly. How can I look myself in the mirror and see anything more than Miss Seely? Aunt Jemima, picking any unkept, unclean shame on me, the sheer audacity you know, you ain't never gonna get no man if you keep looking like one. Well, my bad, I forgot. I'm supposed to be spending my rent in a beauty salon or my car note on the high hopes of finding my Boaz, my king, just so I can end up with someone who ain't even trying to see the real me. Oh, I would be so much better off if I just went straight. Okay, mom, I may be your child, but let's get this right out the gate. I ain't going nowhere near back to that creamy crack just to suit you, just to prove that I am your ideal of beautiful, straighten up to make you more comfortable because this life I'm living. No, this breath I was given has taught me that the key to my happiness does not rest in that PCJ box that you brought me. That's more like the master's way of still telling us who we're supposed to be. You know, made. Shamed, tamed, broken like stallion. I am supposed to be your child, but you want me to make it easier for them to ride me? Mama, you lied to me. Pulled me and my coils into submission. Taught me I am meant to be lied down, stepped on. Taught me I am doormat. I am servant, not to be confused with anyone in a queen's position. But look at me. This rat's nest is my crown. It stands tall with regalia. It is meant to be cherished, nourished, not punished. It is proud with coils of bound accentuating my shoulders. You know, the feminine ones. The ones attached to the back that is taking your wax, your wrath, your insult, your disappointment. The same one of that little girl, head between your legs, hot comb to head popped when she asked you to stop. When those toxins penetrated her virgin scalp like invading colonizers, when she begged you not to let that white demon seep in and impregnate her impressionable mind with their beautiful lies, when she cried out to you, Mama, it's hurting me, wash it out, I am still crying. Mama, it's hurting me, wash it out, wash that disgust for me out your mouth, wash that disgust for me and my lovers out your eyes until your tears what is pure spring waters. When you look at me, remember I am your daughter. Ain't I a reflection of you? Now I'm asking you to see me as I am, still beautiful without silken strands, on my own, not attached to a man, neither should define me. Neither make me any less or any more. Now see me and my hair as reflections, honoring those who came before. See me and your granddaughters as the queens that we are, descendants of African plains. Our hair as proud reminders of the blood that flows through our veins. Know that when I say I love her, I do not feel ashamed. And finally, acknowledge the fact that beauty, love, and I are naturally one in the same.